The house arrest program is a privilege granted by the authorities of the Douglas County Department of Corrections. This video will give a brief overview of the house arrest program including the rules, regulations, and frequently asked questions. If you have any questions or concerns after watching this program, read your handbook or speak to a staff member. You must follow all house arrest rules to remain in the program. Any attempts to walk away or escape from programs or house arrest will result in a sentence of up to five years in the state penitentiary. Equipment Costs You are responsible for paying a daily equipment fee. Refer to your handbook for the current fee schedule. The house arrest officer will inform you of which equipment you will be given. Then read your handbook for a full list of the fees. Electronic Monitoring Equipment while on house arrest, you will wear an ankle monitor 24 hours a day. Do not tamper with or attempt to remove the device. A standard landline touchtone or cordless phone may be required to connect to the monitoring equipment. The phone must remain on a table or desk close to an electrical outlet. Never place anything on top of the electrical monitoring unit. The phone must always be on, and the voicemail feature must be deactivated. Do not use the phone for long periods of time as it must remain hung up to collect information from the monitoring unit. You will be held liable for any damage caused to the monitoring equipment. Daily Rules and Residence While in the program, you must abide by the approved schedule that you will develop with house arrest staff. All changes to your schedule must be pre-approved. No vicious animals are allowed on your property while on house arrest. You may not consume or possess alcohol or illegal drugs. This includes substances that may contain alcohol such as mouthwash or cough syrup. You are subject to random drug and alcohol testing. If you refuse to submit to a test, you may be removed from the program. You must maintain a clean residence at all times. If at any time your residence is not clean, you will be given only one warning to clean it up. Firearms or other weapons are not allowed in the home while on house arrest. You may also not associate with anyone who has been convicted of a felony or has active warrants. If you have a non-medical emergency during normal business hours, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., call 599-2512 or 599-2510. After hours and on weekends, call the Work Release Center at 599-2519. Read your handbook and familiarize yourself with all the rules and regulations for the house arrest program. If you have any questions or concerns, speak to a staff member. Passes You may request a one-hour shopping pass once a week. You may also request permission to leave for medical or dental appointments. All requests must be approved by the house arrest officer 48 hours in advance. If you are approved, you must notify the officer when you leave your residence arrive at the site, leave the site, and when you arrive back at your residence. Funeral passes may also be granted for immediate family members only. In the case of a medical emergency, call 911. For a non-medical emergency during the day, call 599-2512 or 599-2510. After 4.30 p.m., call 599-2519. Work and Community Service You may be assigned to perform volunteer community service. If you fail to participate, you may be removed from the house arrest program. While working, you must always carry a pager or cellular phone at your own expense. You may work up to six days a week. Your job site must be in the Omaha metropolitan area. Any request to work overtime must be approved 24 hours in advance. Release you will be notified by the house arrest officer one day before you are scheduled for release. Holidays do not affect your release date. On the day of your release, you must pay all program fees in full. You must pay the exact amount in cash. No change will be given. The house arrest program is an earned privilege. The program brings you one step closer to living a free and productive life. We encourage you to participate in the community service program so you can give back to your neighborhood. We also encourage you to follow every rule without failure. Good luck. We hope your time in the program is productive.